Hello, I am Mad Vedic, and welcome back to another episode of Rise of the Mouse. Okay, so here we are. Um, to remind people from last episode, uh, we kind of realized that I can't do a whole lot in terms of war until I build up my uh, patriotism, which is the Americanist piety. So um, until then, I'm just going to do acts that build up piety. Um, I can't go on a pilgrimage until I have the same amount of piety, which is 100. So for now, I'm just going to have to, yeah, kind of chill. Um, I hold a feast. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get some kind of piety event options, hopefully. Um... Yeah, uh, prestige is not a big deal right now, and with how low I am on money, I'm not going to worry about taking low prestige hits in order to save money. Um, we also still have the crumbling Caribbean Empire to our south. They're engaged in, what, three wars right now? Okay. So, four wars for people's claims on the Caribbean Empire. And then... One independence revolt. It looks like the independence revolt is going to win no problem. And obviously only one of these is going to come out on top. Damn. Um, probably Toussaint. The, uh, the Duke of Haiti. Um, I'll spend enough to satisfy everyone's hunger. Let's look at the dish or veggies here. Okay. It's not bad. Um, where are the Dijor kingdoms in the Caribbean? I imagine there's the kingdom of Hispaniola. Hispaniola. Hispaniola is included in Puerto Rico. Well. Kingdom of the Antilles. Okay. Kingdom of the Bahamas. Uh, it's under the king of Jamaica. Well, okay. Obviously the kingdom of Cuba. Just trying to get a feel for all of these. Chicago land. Alright. All the guests have arrived. All three of them. Yes, and it does help to get my vessels to like me. It does help a lot. So. Sorry, just kind of exploring the map since. Again, we are kind of sitting on our hands for a while. So I'll just go ahead and try and get used to everything else. High church. Followers lean older Christian traditions. Closer to Catholics than evangelicals. And then the good old Anabaptists. Rust cultists, though. That just sounds cool as hell. Motowner. Rust cultist. Because it's the rust belt. Oh, that's cool as shit. They're restricted to Galakon. Still. Still cool. I like it. Okay, so unfortunately no real piety gain from the feast. But a good bit of prestige and such. Um... The summer fair. I know there's some some events with piety in there, so that'll help because it's just gonna take so long. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the risk of building zeal because it could very easily backfire on me. And then have me lose even more piety in the process. Naturally, the president's in Washington. So I'm going to go ahead and go back to improving relations with him. Because that will help with my piety. Yeah. Because... 
And the build zeal option, while it does help me get piety a little bit faster, it also has the potential to raise um, like holy warrior units that want to fight. But if you don't use them after a certain amount of time, you do take a piety hit. And with it that low, I mean, I might be able to do anything with that. Because right now my only options are holy war, holy war, and holy war. Everything's Holy War, so... Unless there's another option I'm not aware of. Yep, ju just Holy Warring, that's my only options. Yeah, just that, that patriotism, that's what's biting me right now. Okay, I need some gold here. Yeah, before August, so I can hold the summer fair. Be nice if I could become zealous or something. But thankfully, there's nothing really holding me back for the piety. So at least I got that going. Um, my wife's stats are kind of whatever, but I still need a child. Give me a son, woman. I'll definitely be doing several playthroughs with this mod, though. Just because, I mean, so many options. So many crazy options. Oh, hey, 25 gold. Okay. Summer Fair. Yes, let's do it. They should make the peasants happy. Now, pretty much whatever I do, whatever actions I take, they're going to be in the name of gaining piety. I don't give a shit if I get an opinion hit to my vassals, a prestige hit, even revolt risk. Because I'm, I'm, there's like zero. So, yeah, just anything that pops up gaining piety, that's, that's going to be all me. Shit, I, I could kill my wife. And I would still do it just for the piety. Uh, that doesn't sound very pious in hindsight. What a bastard. More importantly, how did, he, how did he bring a monkey all the way over here? Can I go colonize Bermuda? In the name of the mouse, please. I guess not. Okay, that's fine. Makes me kind of sad. Plymouth. Chief Cotton of Plymouth. Hey, it's an occultist. Okay, the gesture performed during your summer fair. Da, 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 da. Okay, I don't give a shit. Just need piety. Okay, that's great, but I need you to improve my relationship with the president. What are. Lore of the Pact. This character is a student of the Diabolic Pact. This ancient covenant is how Humeri survived the Cataclysm. What the fuck? Did humanity survive? No piety, damn. Did humanity survive by, like, making a truce with the devil? Is this, like, some Cthulhu bullshit up here? Lore of the Masons. Oh, you can be a Freemason? I want to be a Freemason. I think. Straight theocracy. Ursuline. Wow. All right. Okay, so that's that. Um, we're still waiting on our piety. I'm trying to think if there's anything else I could do to grow this piety quick. Cause I mean, I just can't do a goddamn thing without it.
Technology man. Mmm, this is frustrating. Oh shit, it's a holy order, okay. Director Hoover. Ah. Alright, well at least he likes me. Doubt he likes me enough to get Vaseline. Nope. Not at all. Okay. Sagrado Corazon. really cool oh my there's so much lore in this mod wow the king king jesus of sierra madre atomicists yeah i read it in that a little bit already blessing of adam does that mean he's been like infected with radiation sickness I'm, yeah, I, I might change my focus to learning. Uh, I still have a year before I can do that. Yeah, as soon as I can change I'm going to change it to learning just to gain piety faster. Because it's just going to take a long, long time. Lots of waiting until any real action can occur it looks like because I, I can't even press any de jour claims or anything since it's a titular title yeah yeah it's just gonna be waiting a lot of waiting analyzing the world around us how's the revolt in the holy Colombian confederacy going looks like emperor algernon is gonna win What's that one book where the mouse is named Algernon and it's the guy who's like really slow and he gets the same treatment, becomes like really smart, but then Algernon dies and then this guy, and then the guy who took the same stuff as the mouse, he kind of degrades and then like he ends up dying at the end. I remember that being sad as hell. It was some flowers for Algernon, that's it. Oh, it's a sad fucking book. Why did they make me read that in middle school? Uh, whatever, anyway. Can the Pope still go Crusades? Is, it, is his name praised be? Okay. Pope can call for a Crusade, interesting. Probably against the Rus cultists, or the Norse. Good old Norse. Jarl Paul. Paul. <laughs> Schreiber. More Ursuline. Is there any kind of like... Out there groups? Rushmore. Yes, Rushmore is still maintained by the... Yeah, more of my kin. Wonderful. Anyway, Rushmore's... Still maintained. The court of Mount Rushmore. Yes, it's maintained by an Americanist. Excellent. Oh, it's a holy site. That makes sense. Yep. So that. Washington, yes. Philadelphia, yes. Boston. Okay, that makes sense. That makes perfect sense, actually. Okay, so are there any, like, out there religions? Kind of like the Zunists, where it's like they're small, but they have the potential to be hella. Not really. I don't even know how to pronounce that. What the hell? Huh. Alright. That sounds interesting, even though I can't pronounce for shit. So many, like, 
in-depth religions, really, and mod and the mod author's still like growing it every day. Good old Deseret. Mormons. Woo. I like this mod, I do, but I just feel like the year, you know, like 2600 and on, that almost seems like a little bit too far for us to really grasp what like an apocalypse could be. I, I just feel like if that number was smaller, it would make a little bit more sense. Other than that though, I mean, mod is incredible. So much built into I mean, look at these religions. This l cultures. So many cultures. Just... There's really just so many good Game of Thrones mods, uh, Game of Thrones, excuse me, Crusader Kings mods out there to include the Game of Thrones one, yes. Um, this is very well done. I remember I saw an Atlantis one a while back that just added on to, like, the vanilla map. That one got really in-depth, too. I think that was based on, like, the Disney's Atlantis, but still very well done. And there's one for, like, Warhammer. I'm not even, I'm not in Warhammer, but still, um... Middle Earth one seems like a good thing. Of course, Elder Kings. Just Crusader Kings does have a very wonderful mod community with some really incredible things. I mean, hats off to the mod authors, really. Okay, still, still got like another six months before I can change much. So let's just explore the world around us a bit. Okay, so. It seems like the majority of Mexico gets along, but the, the clash is between the Sagardo Corazon and the Atomicists. That seems like the biggest clashing, really. Yeah, and then to the south of them, there's a. See, this combines, like, ancient Aztec worship and freaking, like, post-apocalypse, like, Mayan, just, wow. Very well done, very, very well done. Um, there's that, there's the falling star. Sagado Corazon down here. Guatemalan. Hmm. Let's see. Auto saving, auto saving, yes, yes, yes. Okay, so Neo Gnostic. Oneness with God. Material world is the work of Satan. All right. It's interesting. Let's try and become patient. Woo! It means people like me just a little bit more. Lord knows I need it. Um, okay, I don't really care about his opinion necessarily, mostly because it's fine. So, one dot, yeah, a nice boost to health would be great. What I want to know is, where did they get these wigs? Where did all the Americanists get these wigs? I don't know. The tribe of the snowbirds. <laughs> all right. All right, so what else have we got in terms of situations? So a lot of Catholics. Catholics mostly Midwest. Iowa. But who's Iowa at war with?
backing up the Lord Proprietor of the Quad Cities. The Libertarian Heresy. Oh, God damn it. That made me lose patriotism. No, that's still funny. Okay, well, court chaplain, get down there and definitely get the libertarians out of here. I wonder what the libertarianism does, though. Can I find... Any libertarians? Can I search libertarian? Nope. I'm just curious to the mechanics of the heresy. I can probably go on the mod wiki and figure it out though. Burning River. Motown. Terrain is playing. This shows jungle. Only in that county, too. That's weird. Maybe just a little oversight or something. I don't know. Then again, I don't know the terrain of that area, so for all I know. Uh, it doesn't look a whole lot like jungle to me. Whatever. <coughs> so, what else we got here? Roast Man. Um, okay, anything else interesting to look at? Worth looking at. I'm still confused on exactly what the revelationists are. Christian nature. So it distorted Christianity, but it's considered pagan. Whatever. Oh, shit. Independent Santo Domingo. Wait, why only Santo Domingo though? Can't, can't, can't take a concubine. No, oh, well. worth trying. It appears that the independence revolt was successful. Good for you, Santo Domingo. Good for you. Friendly Dominicano. But no hunger Santerian. Rastafarian. Oh, I'm down with Rastafarians. How are the rest of your revolts coming? Looks like Arsenio. Cuban Arsenio is probably going to win it out. Alright, what's going on? Now, why you gotta sack Palm Beach, man? Oh, to a son, okay. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up for this episode. So as we can see, the uh, Caribbean Empire to our south still continues to crumble, slowly, chunk by chunk. Um, we've managed to analyze our world a little bit more. Hopefully we can build up some patriotism soon so we can get to some real warring here. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe to follow this series and others. Do not hesitate to leave any comments or game suggestions in the comments below. This is Mad Vatic, and I'm out. See you guys.